Hey, good morning, church. It's good to be back with you this morning as we continue our devotional in the book of James. Uh, this morning, starting chapter 4, verses 1 through 10. Uh, James uh, brings up an interesting point that I think applies to all of us uh, about fighting and arguing. Have, have you ever argued with anybody or gotten in a, a sort of an argumentative fight with them? Uh, maybe even a physical fight, I guess, if you will. Um, I think that does apply to every single one of us, whether you were a kid or a child or a teenager or uh, whether, you, whether it was with a child or a teenager or uh, your spouse or a coworker, uh, that I think we've all had uh, these moments where we have desired uh, something that we weren't getting. Uh, we expected something differently. And so uh, we, this desire began to, to cause an issue uh, in our relationships with others but then also begins to cause a, an issue in our relationship with God. And James pinpoints exactly what this, the causer of this is. He says it's actually caused from the very desires deep within you. And he says then, then you actually you go and you, you pray and ask God uh, for those things, but you're even, your prayers are, are uh, drawn from selfish motives. Your, your prayers are drawn from your selfish desires. And so it begins to not only affect our relationships with others, but it begins to affect our relationship with the Lord. Um, James says uh, that it's like uh, trying to live by your uh, selfish desires and and trying to live uh, by God's desires. It's like being an enemy of God, a friend of the world. It's like we go and snuggle up uh, next to the world all the while trying to love the Lord. And James is going, it can't be that way. That's not how this works works that we can't exalt God in our lives and exalt us at the same time like John the Baptist tells us he says uh, that uh, he must increase and I must decrease like in in order for the Lord to be exalted and his desires to be to be exalted in our lives and for him to be glorified in our lives then then we have to uh, be taken off the the sort of the mantle if you will we have to uh, submit ourselves to the Lord Uh, James uses this language James says Do we have to humble ourselves? And then he quotes an old famous proverb that uh, God gives grace to the humble. So we have to submit ourselves to the Lord. So we have to humble ourselves before God, recognizing that that his desires are way more valuable, that his desires are way more important than ours. And we recognize that our desires that well up within us, they're the very things that cause... uh, issues in relationships with others around us and with the Lord. But James says, not only does he say submit to the Lord or to submit to God in verse seven. uh, And so we do so, but here's what we all recognizing in submitting to God, that these very temptations, these very desires that we have, they oftentimes arise again or, or well up inside of us. Uh, And sometimes even from outside sources. And James goes further and he says, therefore submit to God, but resist the devil and he'll flee from you. There's going to be a time where we have to resist the temptation and the urge to act on our desires. That we can't just cognitively think we desire God's ways more than ours. Rather, we're going to have to act on those and suppress those within us. We're going to have to resist them and they'll flee from us. But then he goes on and says, now this is what this looks like. Draw near to the Lord and he'll draw near to you. Uh, Paul the Apostle says in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 uh, that no temptation uh, will seize you that isn't common to man. And then he he goes on to say uh, in verse 31 that that God would never, uh, that God will always give you a way out of temptation. And so we do that by drawing near to the Lord and, and he draws near to us. We draw near to the Lord through our Bible reading, uh, through prayer, through worship, and through confession. As we daily recognize our sins and the the things desiring uh, that we desire welling up inside of us, we confess those things to the Lord. And we confess where we've acted on them. Continue to pursue the Lord uh, and continue to show uh, faithfulness to Him. This text is very challenging. It causes me to ask, like, what is it in my life that I'm given over to? What is it in my life that I'm allowing to be exalted more than what it should be? 
And what are those, those areas of my life that I'm, I need to exalt Jesus more and suppress myself uh, more? How, how can he be increased and I decrease? And says, Church, I, I found this text very uh, challenging. I think it's a very good reminder for us uh, that we have these desires within welling up inside of us that we need to submit to the Lord, resist the devil, and continue to pursue and draw near to him. Hey, church, listen, we love you. We're praying for you. 